In this video, we're going to teach you how to install an electric water heater. The water heater is also called a hot water tank or a hot water cylinder. There are two types, electric and gas. Here, we will install an electric model, which is less complicated to put together than a gas one. It can be installed on a tripod on the ground or on the wall, either vertically or horizontally. In this case, the height beneath the ceiling allows it to be attached at a height, therefore freeing up space on the ground. Before beginning your work, be careful to fully clear the room of any obstacles. Then, be aware that when full, a 200 litre water heater like this one will weigh 260 kilograms. Therefore, you will need to ensure it is very securely attached. Finally, it is absolutely crucial that two people carry out the fastening stage. Apart from being bulky, the water heater is heavy and weighs many tens of kilos when empty. To install the water heater, you will need a tape measure, a spirit level, a square edge, a pencil, an electric drill, a drill bit and fixing kit suitable for the wall, a T and P valve and drain, a wrench, a hammer, an oakum, jointing compound. For the fitting part, you will also need a toolbox, PEX tubing, right angle fittings, PVC glue, and fastening rings, as well as stripping pliers. This installation needs to be done in three stages, which we will explain in greater detail. Step one, preparations. Measure between the axes, meaning the gap between the attachment points, and mark them on the wall with the help of the tape measure. Using the spirit level and the square edge, make sure that your marks are straight and flush. Drill into the wall where you have marked. Hammer the wall plugs from your kit into the wall, and then screw in the threaded rods with the help of the pliers. Screw them in until they do not move at all. Do not hesitate to exert your weight onto the rods, as they should be able to bear the water's 260 kg weight. Now, we are going to install the TNP valve. The TNP valve helps to vent the overpressure caused by expansion when the water heats up. The cold water inlet is the blue tube, and the hot water will come out of the red tube. Tie the oakum clockwise around the cold water inlet, following the thread of the rod. Spread the jointing compound with your finger. Carefully tighten the TNP valve on the cold water inlet with the help of the pliers to guarantee it is watertight. Step 2. Installation. To install the water heater in its place, start by pre-screwing the four bolts from your fixing kit into the rods. Pick up the water heater and hang it on the slots. There will need to be two or three people to perform this stage due to the size of the water heater and the height at which it will be mounted. Now tighten the bolts. Step 3. Connections. Now we are going to connect the water heater to the water, electricity and drainage. For the water, make sure that the water flow is turned off at the mains. Adjust the length of the PEX ribbed rubber tubing. Remove the outer sheath with a tube cutter. Repeat the process for the other tubes. Use two T-joints to divide the hot and cold water inlets so as to fit the water heater onto one side and the shower, sink, bath or wash basin on the other side. Screw the ring onto the pipe and, using the widening pliers, expand the hose pipe. Drive in the TMP valve and fit the set using the slip joint pliers. Now you need to fit the water inlet to the water heater. Place the gasket in the fitting and tighten. Measure and cut a piece of the pipe for the fitting. Thread a ring around each end and fix the set using the slip joint pliers. Repeat the process for the cold water. For the drainage, screw the drain onto the TNP valve. Draw a mark using the square edge and the spirit level to define where the fixing rings will go. Measure the size of the pipes you need to cut. Sand down the ends of the tubing and cover them in glue. Using the right angle fittings, assemble the pipes. Fix the set to the drain. Attach the pipe to the wall using the fixing rings. 
for the electricity, turn the power supply off at the mains before connecting the cables. Adjust its length and then cut it accordingly. Strip back the live wire, the blue or grey neutral wire and the earth wire. The live wire is usually red or brown. The neutral one is usually blue or grey and the earth wire is yellow or green. Strip back and fit the earth wire to the ground. Then the live wire and the neutral wire to the thermostat. After having put the wire into the power outlet, screw it in. Put the protective cap in place. You now know how to install a water heater.